All right, first one, uh, graffiti, what graffiti essentials do you make sure are in your bag before heading out? Um, yeah, I, a lot of people always ask me, like, how do you get those super thin lines? Um, it's not the wand, it's the wizard. Uh, <laughs> but I always use cream caps and New York fat, so everyone always asks, what caps do you use? That's all I use. All right. Um, anything else? Are there any? Uh, uh, I, sometimes I see a picture of you with like a, oh, a mask. Yeah, on. respirator. I, I always use a respirator. Um, for anyone that wants to use spray paint, it's extremely hazardous. Uh, a lot of VOCs. So, um, I, if I'm ever working indoors, even if I have ventilation, I use a full face respirator. Uh, outdoors, I'm still using a respirator. So, uh, use your PPE. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Tell you can tell that to the camera right yeah. there. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, what are what are some vocab words that any aspiring street artist needs to know? Um, yeah, I, I definitely already used a few of them here and there. Uh, but toy is one that you'll hear a lot, which is just a way to say that someone's a beginner or doesn't know their context within graffiti. Um, so it's really important to like understand the context for your local city. Um, and don't be a toy, uh, beef, uh, definitely where like you have like a rivalry with someone, mm. it, it can all be very territorial and caveman like and stupid. Um, yeah, uh, hand styles or can control. That just means like, uh, your ability to have like varying stroke widths and different types of sprays and with your hand style, getting flares and all kinds of things like that. Um, Capping, uh, that just means going over someone with the intent to diss them. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, and then definitely the difference between, <clears throat> sorry, the, the difference between graffiti art, muralism, uh, street art, and graffiti vandalism, where with the term graffiti, I inherently see that as being something exclusively using vandalism, which isn't to say that's a bad thing or right or to lesser it um graffiti art i more so see that as something where it's in sanctioned spaces it can still use the same type of imagery and very letter heavy format um muralism that can be done with spray can it can be done with whatever uh, it can be done in a graffiti style but usually that i more so define that as something that is a paid commission and then street art is an offshoot of graffiti where you think of people like Banksy who do stencils, mm -hmm. uh, wheat paste, which we always say, or I say, um, street art is to graffiti what Iggy Azalea is to hip hop. <laughs> um, so it's an offshoot. It's kind of different. <laughs> they think of themselves one way, but they're perceived another. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, okay. You mentioned Banksy, which is really funny because I kind of was coining you as Pittsburgh's Banksy yeah. up until you got. <laughs> You know, caught. Yeah. You know, the whole point of Banksy is that he or their identity is unknown. Um, is Banksy overrated? Why or why not? Um, yes, with equally like the statement of street art being overrated, uh, where a lot of people will assume graffiti, legal graffiti, has no inherent political value, where inherently it is political in the way that you are defying concepts of property and ownership, you are creating an identity and seeking outlets to promote that identity just for the cause of promoting yourself and your image. Um, so inherently it's incredibly anti-consumerist, anti-capitalist, uh, where street art banks see sometimes they'll seek to use imagery that they see as being politically pr provocative, where it, in its use means nothing. Uh, so it'd be like, here's a tank and an elephant and a <laughs> girl with a balloon and a gun and whatever. And, um, it's, it's not really making a direct statement and usually the people creating that type of street art sign off with their signature on the bottom, just whatever statement. And even if it is a good statement, uh, <clears throat> I will still say like, buy Banksy. Right. Um, so anytime I do political work or political graffiti um, or something for the community, I, I don't sign off on it because I don't want to try to profit off of anyone else's suffering in any way. Yeah. Um, so instead of marketing, marketing yourself and branding yourself off of other people's suffering, you can still do that type of art, uh, but don't profit off it. Yeah, a hundred percent. That makes sense. Um, okay. Uh, what's your worst or what's the worst injury, <clears throat> if any, that your craft has led you to? 
Um, one of a, a very close call. <clears throat> ah, sorry. Um, I've been I've been very lucky uh, where I've climbed many stupid, stupid things <laughs> and um, taken way too many risks, but I've never actually been hurt doing it. I got very close though, um, where I was trying to climb across from a tree to a rooftop. Um, this was also during a period where I was a self-admitted alcoholic, so sobriety now, uh, sobriety mm. rules. Um, <laughs> Yay. But um, it was raining, trying to reach across, and I coincidentally had this backpack on my back uh, full of pizza in a styrofoam <laughs> container and like three of these containers. Uh, so it was a very like Ninja Turtle stupid moment. Uh, but I, I fell down onto what would have just been a solid rock that was below like a big old boulder. Uh, but I landed on my turtle shell back <laughs> and uh, I was fine. The pizza so. broke the fall. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, thanks pizza. That's, I'm glad that that was a close call and not anything yeah. else. And I'm glad to hear that there are no other injuries that come to mind. Yeah, thank God. Uh-huh. Um, all right, last one. What is the best place around the city for a late night bite after a night of graffiti? Um, ooh, I, I would always in the past used to say Ritter's, uh, mm. but Ritter's isn't 24 hours anymore. Mm. Uh, that absolutely was where I would go. Um, but it, it, it's so, because Pittsburgh has so few 24 hour places now. Uh, but often if I ever was in Oakland, I would always find myself uh, showing up at the McDonald's there. And yeah. <laughs> it is one of the wildest McDonald's ever. I've been there one one time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, but otherwise, like late night food. Um, I don't know. Go to always is Noodlehead. Noodlehead. So if I need yeah. to prepare for a mission. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Do you ever hit up Chicken on a Stick, like the the chicken stand? In yes, Oakland? <laughs> I did, and I have a lot. Uh, I had one unfortunate experience, but oh, God. I haven't been back. But still, great people. Go there. Okay. I won't tell you. But, okay, yeah. we, we don't need to get into that then. <laughs> now we're going to switch over to those um, quick 30-second sketches that we were talking about. We're going to um, draw an object from memory. Are you ready, Max? Yeah. All right, so let's switch over here. First item on our list is we're going to draw a flower. Okay. Any flower, whatever. Take... Take that with a grain. Do you want assistance on this or guidance? No, no, this okay. is like, we're it's not on the same team. There's no like um, prize or anything or loss, but okay. we are not working together this I'll time. I'll make it competitive. Ready, set, All right. go. All right, I think we're coming up on 30 seconds here. Uh-oh. All right, make any last adjustments you need. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Kind of. Oh. We, we had different takes. Yeah, I like your. Thank your you. Room. Yeah. I stand by my choice, but I, I think we should give that one to, no. to Max. All right. <laughs> we're gonna do a portrait of one another. We have to draw Ooh. each other's faces. Okay. Okay. All right, are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. This might be really bad. <laughs> Time. Oh, okay, you definitely <laughs> showed me up on <laughs> So here's what we came up with. I feel like I... That one over there looks oh. like a wanted poster a little bit. I mean, but. yeah, but that that's, that's <laughs> wow. I'm, I might have to keep that. You can have this one too. We Thank can, you, I okay. like that. No, it's a wanted poster. It's very impressionistic. I went, I went, yeah, that's the vibe I was going for. We'll go with that. <laughs> that was great. That looks just like me. All right, all right. Okay. I see why you are the full-time artist. Okay. Um, all right, next, this is, um, you can take this. You can do gems, whatever okay. you want. We're gonna do our initials. So I'll, I'll do just MG. Okay, yeah. okay, and I'm MP, so that's funny. Yeah. I didn't consider that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yep. Okay.
Oh no. <laughs> what? We'll, we'll edit that out. All right, I think that's 30 seconds. Ooh. Your, yours is much more decorative. I, went, I wanted to, um, you know, give this one a little something. Mine's just traditional cool. hip hop graffiti. Yeah. All right. I feel like that one we could, we could that's the yeah, one to yeah, toss yeah. up. I think we both no, have yeah, our... I like your zebra pattern. <laughs> Thank you. All right. This is the main one right here. This one, okay. there's a lot of pressure. The bison is Point Park's mascot and um, the bison means a lot to our campus community. So there is uh, a little bit of pressure to do it justice. Uh, um, I forget the bison's name. I think it's, I should know that. Billy. Billy, we'll, we'll put that in at the bottom. Okay, um, all right, 30 seconds on the clock. Last one, we're gonna make this one count. Okay. All right, are you ready? Yep. Okay, go. All right, five more seconds on the clock. <laughs> oh God. I think you won this one as well. You got the green marker, that's a little unfair. <laughs> yeah. All right, like here's what you came up with. There we go. <laughs> I think you did it justice. Mine is ridiculous. I just try to make a hairy bowl. A hairy bowl, that's what I was thinking yeah. too. <laughs> All right, 